<laughs> um, I think that maybe it's. But one of the comments we had recently actually was that there were uh, not enough boob. Mm. So we're gonna fix that right <laughs> now. Let's do it. <laughs> I said, do you have a photo of you with balloons up your shirt and me feeling them? <laughs> Why do we do that? <laughs> If that doesn't get more views, I don't know <laughs> what will. Tits! Here's more things. From the amount. There's supposed to be a lunar eclipse tonight. The moon turned brown and then red came back white and it got boring very quickly. But I still enjoyed it because, I don't know, it doesn't happen very often. The moon's going to turn brown tonight. It reminds you how much of a microcosm. You really are. It's riveting. That's a pretty big word there, the microcosm. Did you pronounce it correctly? Microcosm. What does it mean? Uh, it's, uh, um, it's... One viewer did say, oh, it's a great show. It just shows how much you really don't know. And I went, thanks for that. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> I did enjoy the words you taught me. Misanthropy. Misanthropy? Which is uh, starting to hate humankind. That's pretty cool. Urination. What did you call it? Mictuition. Mitsub Mitsubishis. Urination. See, we're uh, full of facts. Like all kinds of things. For example, did you know that cat urine glows under a black light? <laughs> My weekend consisted of vomiting <laughs> and watching DVDs. <laughs> Food poisoning, lovely thing. We've gotten this far into our flashback action of the amount, and we still haven't mentioned one of our major sponsors or oh mascots, if you dear. like. Mm, I know where you're going with this. You certainly are. And uh, can anybody guess at home? <laughs> That's right, kiddies. He's behind you. Thrusting. <laughs> Thrusting. Ooh, I'm a badger. What is that? Maybe if I ignore it. It'll go away. Can we see it again? Ooh, take me now, Badger. Ooh, take me now, Badger. The Badger <coughs> frightened me. But since you brought it up again, I thought I would Google, Ooh, take me now, Badger. As you can see on the first result, I have an elephant wearing glasses. <coughs> that went on a tangent pretty quickly, didn't it? <laughs> You've got a magpie on your tie. <laughs> well, now we can talk about it. Check this out. Anyway, I really want to talk to you about magpies, vicious creatures. Are they a valuable and respected part of our ecosystem? I immediately thought when you asked, well, magpies do eat spiders. I'd gladly get rid of all of the spiders in the world. Invent some kind of mist that they can pump into the world's atmosphere and destroys all of the spiders. But then you start talking about the importance of spiders and whether they're doing their job. They kill the flies, they kill the bugs, all that kind of thing, so spiders are important. Are magpies? Maybe. Magpies are only there to make sure the spiders keep doing their job because you've already mentioned that there's lots of insects already around and perhaps they're not doing their job. Do you know once, uh, there was a spider crawling up my leg oh. um, and Someone was like, oh, watch out, there's a spider! And without realising what I was doing, I kicked it off and then threw a wet cloth at it and then sort of stopped from my ninja move and went, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Well, that's what you should do anyway, destroy them. <laughs> because you could come back with one of those and that could be your grandmother that you potentially spray with a can of mortine. I prefer to catch them and let them go outside. Arachnids, do not let them go because everyone you l l release back into the wild has a chance of getting to me and chances are they'll probably kill me. Looking for buckets! Now it's time to play Put a Bucket on Your Head! Breathe. That was the most fun I've had in a while. <laughs> when the new amount comes out very shortly, mm. um, we're hoping that it will be bigger, better, and better than uh, the old one. Uh, but hopefully it'll it'll be a bit of this, a bit of this. Why am I doing this? Why am 
are doing this? Why are we doing this? Why am I doing this? Mesh profit. Uh, profit. Mesh profit. <laughs> Thank you, antique cans. That's antique can. Antique cans. Or cans, antique cans. Antique cans. Should be on a t shirt, I think. Maybe some of this. Why am I doing this? There was, there was a guest on our show, a, a marketing stunt that didn't work. Mm. Um, but you had your own opinion of, of this, this fellow, yes, didn't you? Yes, yeah. Oh, well, you know, we, her, him and I became close friends. Very close. Closer than I'd like. And, um... Without another moment to waste, here is the giant, horny, porno robot! Just help yourself to my lips, to my arms, just say the word! Giant horny porno robot. In my heart, your smile. And my response is solely this face. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't think to call oh, rape? Did I think to call rape? No, not really, because he was busy. <laughs> Hello, rape. Wait right there. That's an unfortunate name, Captain Rape. <laughs> but I prevent rape. You should probably put that in the name. Prevent mm. rape. Anti-rape, man. It's up there with the uh, runaway from Danger Man. Aha! <laughs> <laughs>